Well, you know, Two Wants to Know is all about the tourney, too. When you win a tournament like the ACC or when you get to dance in the big dance for March Madness and you win it all, what do you take home? You get the t-shirt, you get the hat, you get the trophy, and oftentimes you do what? Cut down the net. You cut Nothing down that net. <laughs> That's right. You take a little piece of that net home, mm -hmm. a piece of the net, cutting down the net. It is the ultimate bragging right. That's yeah. true. I mean, I don't know any other sport that does something like that. Mm -mm. Mm. That's a very good you know, point. Like hockey doesn't cut up the the nets net there. there. Sounds right. expensive. It leaves a great memory too. <laughs> that you just yeah, want. yeah, sure. Does. How did the tradition get started, and when did it get started? I do not know that. That's no, a great I'm, I'm really excited about now finding out. Okay, well, you know what? It all got started right here. Like so many traditions what? in college mm. basketball, it started with the ACC. The North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame got started in 1962, but the tradition of cutting down the nets was long before that. A few years ago, I talked to a Hall of Fame board member about it. It's such an important thing. And, you know, now there are multiple generations of people who know nothing but the fact that you're supposed to cut down the nets when you win a championship. It's a tradition Tim Peeler enjoys talking about. As a North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame board member, he says this sports staple started with North Carolina State's coach, Everett Case. NC State beat North Carolina twice in the regular season and then by two points in the championship game. The players ran over and uh, put Coach Case on their shoulders. He said, hey boys, take me over to the basket. And they didn't know why, they had no idea. This is the first time it had ever happened. Uh, and they, he said, lift me up, give me a pair of scissors. And so he started cutting the nets down. He said, this is what we're going to do. Every time we win a championship, we will cut down the nets. And so the tradition was born in 1947. NC State may have started it, but again, it became the end-all, be-all bragging right for like everyone in all of college basketball. I mean, it's still to this day done everywhere now. Everywhere. All across yeah. the country. Yeah. It's real cool. That's a pretty cool piece of history. And even yeah. like, you know, high school kids want to do it, right? When yeah. they win their state championship, mm -hmm. it has just like trickled down all the way. Everybody just wants a piece of the net. It's wow. interesting that, so Everett Case, you know, the ACC Championship Award is called the Everett Case Award because of him, but he's the reason that North Carolina as a state became a basketball state because state started they weren't winning in football it used to be football mm -hmm. and uh, they weren't winning so they said well let's put a lot of money into basketball and it started drawing all these crowds and then Carolina Duke and Wake said oh no wait a minute oh, we're and gonna get in this yeah, yeah. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden we're a, an ACC a basketball conference that's right so cool. what do you they used to cut it cut it specifically well he asked for a pair of scissors and mm -hmm. I think they just still use that today yeah. it's just scissors mm -hmm. which I think is interesting because I think to myself they must have looked high and low for a pair of scissors on the side of a yes, basketball court yes. back in the day. <laughs> who has scissors with no right. Right. Have scissors. Right. The ones they do now look like surgical scissors. Yeah, you know, and they might be, and they might be because you know that's what the trainers are using oh, to yes. tape up people's ankles and yes. things like that, right? Okay, right. Guarantee. right. Mm -hmm. All right. So who's going to be cutting down the nets this year? You better have your ACC bracket ready because mm -hmm. game's going to play. And of course, when all the conference tournaments are over, there is Selection Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's right here on WFMY News too. That's right. And then you can like make out your own little bracket and begin the whole March Madness oh, thing. My favorite time of year. It is from <laughs> six till seven, and you're going to find out what the brackets are for March Madness. So make sure you don't miss it, and it is right here on WFMY News 2.